Hello guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I'm sitting a little bit further back than usual today. I was sitting in my usual spot and the weather is just being ridiculous today. The sun keeps like coming and going behind clouds and then it gets really glary and I'm like squinting. So I think this is the best sort of temporary solution and I'm hoping the lighting doesn't change too much throughout the video. But I am so excited to show you guys the pieces that I have with me today. This video is actually in collaboration with Billy J Boutique. I have never worked with Billy J on my YouTube before so this is a new brand for you guys but I have been following them for years and they are the perfect place to find wedding guest outfits, bridesmaids dresses, baby shower, birthday dresses, like any sort of special occasion dress or outfit, this is the place to go. So as I just mentioned, and as you can probably see from the title of today's video, I have a bunch of wedding guest outfits to show you guys. I actually have a wedding coming up this weekend, which will be last weekend when you guys are watching this. So this parcel couldn't have come at a better time. I have the perfect dress in here to show you guys that I will definitely be wearing this weekend. Plus I have a bunch of other pieces that will hopefully give you guys some inspo if you have any wedding coming up or any other special occasions. I will of course start with what I'm currently wearing but just quickly before I wanted to show you the big box of goodies that I have for you guys and I also want to quickly show you guys the packaging that it came in. I know this is irrelevant to like the quality of the pieces themselves but I always get so excited when the packaging is cute and this was so cute. So basically all of the pieces, sorry if this is loud on camera by the way, but all of the pieces came packaged in this beautiful like neutral tissue paper. They have little Billy J stickers in the middle and all of them were like laid out so nicely in the box. I honestly didn't even want to open it. It just looked so pretty. Okay, as I said, I'm going to start with the dress that I'm currently wearing. So this is the Louisa midi dress in olive and I picked this one up in a size 10. You will obviously get a much better look in the try on, but I am in love with this dress. It is so pretty. My stomach just rumbled. Hopefully you guys didn't hear that. But it's basically this like silky satiny fabric and it falls so nicely and just fits everywhere so nicely. I'm obsessed with the color of this one as well. I love my greens. I feel like greens have been in for so long, especially this sort of like sagey lighter shade. As you can see, it is an off the shoulder sort of cut, but I think you could honestly wear them on the shoulder as well. And I feel like that would look really cute as well. The model on the website is wearing it off the shoulder, but I love this. I think this looks so cute. I think my preference would probably be off the shoulder, but I love that you have both options. I've had this parcel for a couple of weeks now, and when I first received it, I would say this dress fit me perfectly, but obviously I was very sick for a couple of weeks and I did lose a little bit of weight. And I think that slight difference in my upper body has made it just that little bit too big to wear comfortably. So I'm not sure what I'll do yet. I think I could try and get the size down and I think it would work or otherwise I'm thinking of just taking it into an alteration space and just getting the elastic on the sleeves tightened a little bit because I really like the way it falls over the rest of my body and I think if this part was just a little bit tighter so it didn't fall down as easily that would kind of like solve the problem without making the rest of the dress tighter. So yeah just keep that in mind because I would say the top of me is more of an 8 whereas the bottom of me is definitely more of a 10 so if you're similar proportions just keep that one in mind but I think that would be a super easy thing to alter and as I said I think you could get away with getting the size down as well but sizing aside I feel like this would be such a nice wedding guest outfit or even a nice bridesmaids dress it also comes in two other colors I'm pretty sure one of them was sort of like a peachy champagne-y kind of shade and I can't remember what the other one was but all sort of colors that could definitely work as bridesmaids dresses. I'm so sorry about this lighting I can feel it changing constantly so I'm hoping it's not too distracting but I'll jump onto the next piece so next up we have the Giza crop and Giza maxi skirt. I picked up the top in a size small and the maxi skirt in a size medium. So this is what the top looks like. It's super cute and super minimal, which I love. It has this cutout in the front, sort of like a diamond 
shape which I thought was really cute and other than that it's just a super simple little crop the straps are adjustable and it also has a zip at the back this one fits so nicely it's nice and snug so it almost gives you a bit of a lift and because it has that cut out it's super fluttering as well and then the skirt is really similar obviously the same print so the skirt just looks like this it's a super long maxi skirt i don't think this one has any slits in it or anything like that it's just a super plain maxi skirt i love the print of this as well i feel like it's so unique i've never seen anything like this print which is one of the reasons why i really wanted to pick it up because i knew it would be different to anything else in my wardrobe and i just love this set so much next up we have the jada midi dress in black and i picked this one up in a size eight so this is what the next dress looks like i literally picked this up just because i love the shape of the top so much but it's basically this stretchy fabric goes down into a midi dress i don't know how well you guys will be able to tell but it's actually long on one side and short on the other side which i don't think i realized when i was picking the dress up but i really love that detail so as you can see the top detail just looks like this it's all wide as well so it's not just going to flop down which not gonna lie i was a little bit worried about that because i don't have a lot to sort of hold the dress up so i'm really glad that it's sort of structured like that and then the top also has that silicon strip so it won't slip down as well if that makes sense the whole dress is ruched as well and you guys know how i feel about ruching i love it and the back is actually ruched down the middle um sort of where the zip is so that's super flattering as well it almost gives like a slight scrunch bum kind of effect because it's going straight down the middle of you next up is the dress so this is the maya maxi dress in pink slash red floral i picked it up in a size 10. this dress has very quickly become one of my favorite dresses that i own i'm so excited to wear it on the weekend i'm just in love with it so it just looks like this how pretty are the colors of this so it's all pink it says pink and red floral i would say pink and orange um, myself but it's basically this long midi dress super simple silhouette and i love the fold over detail in the front as well i find that really flattering and then at the back is my favorite detail it basically has this elasticated back which makes it really comfortable as well so basically that sits across your back and then this fabric here just drapes down almost like a cow neck but obviously it's at the back of you and it's so flattering and so feminine I just love it so much again this one has the silicon around the top so you don't have to worry about it falling down and as i mentioned before this is so comfortable i obviously just picked this one out because i thought it was really pretty i loved the print of it but the fact that it's comfortable makes it such a good wedding guest outfit because obviously weddings are quite long you want to be comfortable but you also want to look really nice and this is the perfect dress it comes in so many different colors there's a few plain swatches and also a few other pattern swatches lane is obviously coming to the wedding as well and he picked up a dark gray suit the other day and i actually bought him a tie that's the same color orange as this dress so we'll be matching so i'm very excited about that but i will stop going on about this dress you guys know i love it you will see it in the try on oh, i just can't wait to wear it i love it so much okay i have one more sort of wedding guest inspired dress to show you guys and then the last two dresses billy j actually just included in my parcel because i was shooting some content for them so the last two i probably wouldn't typically wear as like wedding guest outfits but they are still really really nice dresses and i still wanted to include them in the haul but the next dress is the jinx maxi dress in blue and i picked this one up in a size i picked this one up in a size eight so this is the next dress here it's sort of cross back so it's going to be a little bit hard to hold up but this is what it looks like i was actually tossing up between this one and the maya maxi dress um for my wedding guest outfit if that makes sense but i opted for that one because the wedding is more formal so i thought that one would probably be a little bit more appropriate but i am obsessed with this dress as well it just goes into a super flowy 
maxi dress. It has a slit at the side as you guys can probably see and all of the top sort of half is fitted which I thought was so flattering. The top of this dress just fits so nicely and I did go for an 8 because the only part of this dress that's fitted is the top part so I figured I would only need to fit the top part to my body and then the rest is flowy anyway so it didn't really matter and I am so glad I picked up the size 8 because it really cinches you in at the top and then obviously it flows out into this beautiful long maxi dress. What really drew me to this dress though was of course the colour. I am obsessed with bright blues like this as you guys know. It's sort of this linen-y material as well which I thought was really nice and it's all double lined so really really good quality as well. And then the the back of the dress just has a zipper that runs down and as I mentioned before it is a cross back so you've got a little bit of back detailing as well the straps are fully adjustable oh my god I forgot to even mention this but it has pockets so basically everyone needs this dress in their life because it's so pretty and it has pockets speaking of linen next up we have the Tuscany linen dress in oatmeal I picked this one up in a size medium I believe so this is what the next dress looks like this one is a mini dress I think this is the first mini dress of the haul and I'm just obsessed with this this one is definitely more on the casual side in my opinion as I was saying before I don't think I would opt for this one for a wedding but I feel like this is the perfect like brunch dress and then the back of this dress just has that sort of ruching detail it's not ruching it's called something else but I can't think of what it's called right now and then it obviously just has the zip down the middle as well and then last but not least we have the sapphire mini dress in rose I'm pretty sure I picked this one up in the size 10 as well but I will pop all my sizing down below so you guys can double check I feel like this one you could wear to a wedding I typically I talk as if I go to weddings all the time this is literally my second wedding I've ever been to but I think if I was to go to more weddings I would typically go for longer dresses whereas this one is another mini dress but this is what it looks like here it basically has this V cut at the front which I didn't know how I would go with that cut but I actually find it really flattering and it's long sleeve it cuffs at the end of the sleeves and then the rest of the dress is super flowy and it's kind of in this wrap style the back has this sort of open back detail without being open back if that makes sense and the rest of the dress is super flattering the only reason why I wouldn't go for this one for a wedding is because it is a wrap style so it's a little bit shorter in the middle and I feel like I'd sort of have to watch it to make sure nothing's slipping if you know what I mean. So yeah I just feel like I wouldn't be able to dance around and stuff like that. I feel like I'd have to be quite careful when wearing this dress and I think that is because I'm quite tall as well. I'm five foot seven so if you are shorter than me I think this would be fine. I could definitely wear this like I'll definitely wear it to lunches and things like that but just for an event like a wedding where you're up and dancing and having fun I feel like that sort of short bit in the middle would be a little bit dangerous but I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did enjoy it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and turn on the notification bell down below so you don't miss any future uploads a huge thank you to Billy J Boutique for sending me all of these pieces to show you guys as I said at the start of this video they are the perfect place to go for special occasion dresses so definitely check out their website down below but again thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one